Hello everyone, my name is Marceline Onyancha. I'm the school manager of New Life Adventist School Saikeri. It's a, a school that began uh, this year. It's uh, one term old, this is our second term. Uh, Saikeri is 48 kilometers uh, away from Nairobi town. We are in Kajiado West, uh, 20 kilometers away from Gong town. Now New Life Adventist School Saikeri uh, began because of a need that was in the community. My name is uh, Jacob Seje, a member of uh, the New Life Seventh-day Adventist Church in Nairobi. I, am, I happen to be the leader of education department uh, in the church. The community approached us uh, because we had already put up uh, two classes in uh, anticipation for a school but we were actually not ready to begin a school yet. So the community approached us and asked if these children could get a chance to, to at least continue with their schooling. So New Life Adventist School Saikeri began. Now this facility, the school, was established by the church so that we reach out to the dire need of education in this, uh, in this region, that is the Mass Island. Uh, we admitted 18 pupils, but so far we are at uh, 27 pupils. Uh, education is not treasured as much. It's also a place where finances are not uh, easily uh, available and facilities easily accessible. Of uh, A sample of the pupils that we have in the school. We have this one pupil who uh, this church, New Life Adventist Church, had built a house for. The family, they didn't have a house totally, they were staying uh, under a tree. Uh, the church built a house for, for this family. Now one of the boys from that homestead is one of our pupils. He comes to school hungry, he doesn't have shoes, his uniform is tattered, uh, he's, uh, he's actually been sick for the past one week and he's not gotten medical attention. Uh, he did not attend, he's six years old, but he did not attend uh, the first two years of school, the, the pre-primary school, because there was no school fees and they could only manage, uh, he actually attended one term of school, the whole of pre-primary, PP1 and PP2. So we have that student. We also have another uh, who has, his, his mother was diagnosed of cancer a few months ago. So he's under the care of stepbrothers who are not employed and all the other children in that homestead are under the care of these two, two brothers. So they, they, they got to a point where they couldn't manage to have these pupils in school and they wanted the children to drop out. More students are still joining us. The schools that are around here, uh, one was closed and we had uh, the need to open the school. Other students came and joined us. We also have another case of uh, five siblings who uh, don't have school fees. They don't have uniform, they dropped out of school. Uh, one is in grade six, the other one is in grade one. We have uh, two who are in PP2 and then there's a little, a little child, I think he's one, one or two years old. So these are the cases that we have at say, New Life Adventist School, Saikeri. Uh, apart from the children and the sampling of uh, the type of uh, community we are in and the children that we have, we don't have classes. You remember as I said, uh, we began the school, yes we had two classrooms, but we were already, we were not ready to begin the school because we didn't have other facilities. For instance, we only have two toilets. Huh? These two toilets are used by the teachers, they are used by the, the local uh, church pastor, they are used by the pupils. So we need facilities like toilets. We have teachers, uh, but we don't have accommodation. And for the longest time we've been looking for a teacher, but we're not getting one because uh, of lack of accommodation. Now if you look around, we still have uh, a lot of needs for the school, because the first one, if we really need uh, uh, water. Now with the water here, we, it will help us, it will enable us, to have the hygiene and the sanitation for the school and also we can even start a project of even uh, farming so that we get the produce we get is to facilitate or to sustain the lunch program uh, within the school. So we, we don't have a teacher who is qualified to teach grade one, that is a P1 teacher, we don't have that. We also don't have classes for, we are now projecting to of course have the school run 
God willing forever, we don't have uh, classrooms to accommodate PP1, PP2 and grade 2 now next year. So we need two more classes for the next academic year. Don't have the teachers quarters. The current teachers that we have are uh, the ECD teachers and we are on the uh, ongoing process of the registration of the school and one of the requirement is to have a P1 teacher. So we have done uh, several interviews but we, we are unable to secure a teacher because of accommodation for the teachers. We don't have water. This is a dry area. We don't have water. We need a borehole. We don't have electricity. Uh, there is electricity around but we don't have money to place a few more poles so that we can we can have um, electricity in the school. Whatever we have is a classroom and two uh, ECD teachers teaching grade one pupils who are supposed to be taught by a P1 teacher. That is the situation of the school. So we are in their need of two additional uh, extra classrooms. Uh, we don't have a fence, we don't have the gate, and this is really going to help us. Uh, uh, help us in terms of uh, having the children secure so that no one can just intrude within the premise. This place needs um, sponsors. These children, a lot of children need scholarships to uh, run them through their education because the trend is if they don't get um, they don't get school fees to uh, to continue with their education they will drop out of school because options are very limited as i said we only have very few uh, we only have very few public schools around and they are honestly up to capacity so if we don't get help to, uh, to sponsor these children, at least have scholarship for these children, majority of them will drop out of school. The New Life uh, Adventurers Club made a mission to this school so that uh, they could come and reach out to the, uh, to the children that are here. Now, uh, we, they came, we fellowshiped together with the students that are in the school and they were able to make donations in terms of storybooks, uh, textbooks, and also the, uh, the dry food stuff. This is just to facilitate the lunch program uh, that, is, uh, that is going on here. We also need these facilities so that we can, we can get to expand the school and continue growing so that it comes to help the community. So my appeal to you is, if you are touched and you would like to help in whichever way, you have textbooks you'd like to, 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 to give to the school, you have um, uh, money that you'd like to donate so that you can have classrooms, you want to sponsor maybe a whole classroom, we are ready and willing to work with you so that this community has an institution that can uh, bring up uh, children that will be a light in the community and in the country at large. I really want to appreciate those who've reached out to help us in the establishment of this facility. Uh, the children are really happy, the parents are really happy uh, because they are now able to access quality education. Now I really want to appreciate again uh, those who came, that is the adventurers, uh, club directors and the Pathfinder directors for having thought of this school to come and reach out. Last but not least, I want to, uh, I want to thank the church because of coming up with the initiative to come and establish such an institution here. I have hope and it's my prayer that this, this school will really grow and it will reach out to several people around this area and the name of the Lord will be glorified. They make this day successful and they make the people of the country very happy. Because most of them in this locality they don't live in the Adventist. But today even they are surprised to see the church is very big and the and this gospel is going far away. So we thank Allah to share a lot for the church 
for supporting us and supporting this gospel in this entire place. And there's a lot of need. People, people here are just around and most of them are not in school. Because of lack of uh, support, they don't have uh, money to, uh, to get school fees. So they decide to, most of the boys here are in, they are, they are in, they are in homes, looking for kettles, and they are doing just their business and they are at home because they are, they are carrying black money to pay them school fees. So if they sponsors from the church or from any other place where we can get sponsorship, we are going to do a lot here. I want just to request the church. Uh, if we can get sponsors here, if we can get water here, good school here, good teachers. And I thank God for this, and may God help uh, them, and uh, continue giving, and may God bless us.